Okay, now that I <laughs> I am back and uh, let's see, I want to get my arc uh, uh, infusion altar set back up. So what I need to do is have a runic matrix with some arcane stones, random shards, ender pearls, as well as a bunch of pedestals and some arcane stone bricks. So I've already made all this stuff, and the reason I already made all this stuff is quite frankly. <laughs> if I hadn't, it would have taken about half an hour to make all this stuff because I had to run back and forth refilling my wand quite a few times in order to get all the viz I needed to actually make everything. And I forgot I needed to do this. Oop, I'm going to need a couple of those. Four of those, actually. So, where do I want to put it? I had originally thought about having it right here in the middle, but that wouldn't really leave a lot of room for any of the other big machines. So I think I'm just going to have this off uh, off center. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that was off center. Uh, damn it. Whoa. I'm getting some horrible frame rate lag. Uh there and there. Okay, so let's see. Where do I want to put it? I want to have it right about here. Uh, so uh, I think this is this is going to be the corner. So one, two, three. This is going to be the center. One, two, three. So one, two, three. This will be the middle of it. So I need to have here. Ah. Why am I getting horrible frame rate right now? And here, along with one here, 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 and here, there, and the runic matrix on top, I think. And that should if I'm not mistaken. Let me do one more quick check before, so I make sure I didn't screw something up. Yeah, one, two, and open air. Okay. So, I also need to have this, 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 here, here, and here. Oop, nope. Get that off of there. Uh, bop, bop, bop. So, I should have just have to right-click this, and there we go. Haha, -ha, we have the curved stones again. Look at this. It's right here, and it's working again. Ah, uh, I really hate this thing. <laughs> oh, if you, if any, for any of you who actually watched my last series, you'll understand why I hate this thing. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Now that I have that set up, I need to get a few things in order to make the thing I want to make today. And what I want to make is the thermostatic harness. And the reason is because I want to be able to fly. I mean, I had my uh, jetpack all this time, but I never actually was able to really fly. So what I need is a redstone comparator. Don't even know how to make that. Gold ingots iron ingots, two air shards, two great wood planks, and a leather tunic. I should have all this stuff. But first, I also need some liquid iter, machina, potentia, and voltus, which uh, is the flight thing. And to get this, I need to liquefy some stuff inside my alchemical furnace. So, let's take a look and see exactly what it is we need. So, Alter, Machina, Potentia, and Voltus. Let's see where we can actually find that stuff. So, uh, where is it? Ah, Iter, Iter. We can get it from uh, <laughs> portals, spawners. Uh, ooh, we can get it from uh, saddles or ender pearls, as well as rails. I have plenty of rails I'm not using, so I might use that. Uh, machina, we can get from 
redstone. And I think redstone actually has potentia as well. So, yep, redstone has potentia. And just need air. Or Volthus. Which I can get from feathers or bows. Okay, so I just need to get all that stuff. I should have everything. Uh, if not... I don't think I have any feathers, though. Feathers. Feather. How do I make feathers? Ah, I can use air essence. And I have some air essence in there, so let's make a stack of feathers. And get some redstone as well. Because it may have two potentia and one one of that. So let's grab a stack of it. Come on, grab a full stack of it. And uh, that has two, so that's nice. And what was the other thing I saw? Ah, rails. Rails? Yep, rail has it. So let's grab a stack of that. So, what I need to do is come up here and stick this stuff. Make sure I have these valves closed so it doesn't automatically flow in. And then I just have to stick one of these in there and let it start melting down. So I think I'm going to start with the redstone. There we go. Got some coal in there with the redstone. And I actually have some spare coal and jars, which I'm going to need. I know I'm going to need that. And I have my goggles on so I can see that Potentia is flowing into here. And the Machinist, or whatever it's called, is flowing into here. And these two are empty. Now, the reason I have these valves closed is because otherwise all the Potentia would automatically flow into here. And the Machina stuff would Potentia would, might actually start filling this up. So it'd have Machina here and Machina there. And it would just be turned into a headache to do that, which is why these valves are so good. Because it allows me to turn it on and off at will. So. But the only problem is this can only, these uh, Alembics can only hold up to 32 of a particular type of potentia. Particular type of this stuff. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on it and drain it out before it hits 32. That way, it doesn't start filling up your next two. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to do that, but it would mean I would have to move this jar up to keep get this to be full. But yeah, this is basically how this works. And once this finished melting down, I'll uh, have a full jar. Actually, I'll have two full jars of, I think, Potentia. Yeah because this has two Potentia and one Machina. So I'll have two full jars of Potentia and one full jar of Machina, which is very nice. Haha. -ha. So, and once this is filled, let me just uh, get that uh, draining out of there. There we go. And once this is filled, you just have to right, uh, left-click on it to break it. And you have a jar of Essentia. And in this case, Potentia. It's not quite full yet, so I'll leave that there to finish filling. Drain a little bit more out of there. But yeah, this is basically how this works. The Alembic Furnace, the Arcane Alembics, and all this stuff. So let me uh, see if I can get this completely filled up now. There we go. So I'm just going to take this out put in a fresh jar and let this finish smelting down and splitting up because it will take a while for all of this to split up into these two Alembics. So yeah, I'm going to get to work doing this, melting down the feathers and the rails and it's basically just going to be me doing what I'm doing right now. Putting this down, waiting for it to melt down and filling and uh draining it into these jars. Oh crap. Ah, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to get back to work doing this and watching this melt down 
and come back once I have all the jars filled with with the essentia, have the feathers and the rails melted down. So yeah. Okay, now that I have all this stuff melted down, I got the jar of essentia, potentia, machina, and voltus, a full jar of each, and now I have. Uh, let's see. Bop. The Eater. I'm not really sure how that's even pronounced. Eater, or whatever it's called. Yeah. But I also have some great wood, and it was great wood uh, planks, right? Great wood planks. There we go. Come on. And now I'm going to make a quite a bit more for the same reason I got a full jar of potentia, essentia, and a full jar of all four of the essentias as well as oop, I do also want to make sure I have everything do I have everything yeah I also made some redstone comparators I had to actually look up how to make them because I never actually made a redstone comparator or if I have I just don't remember it but yeah let's head up there and see if we can get this to work because last time I was doing this I had a lot of trouble trying just to get this stuff to work so what we need to do is take all of these jars and uh, stick them down nearby so they can actually be drawn from because the uh, infusion altar will draw the essentia out of these jars and use it to power them and the reason I have full jars instead of just having the exact amount it said is needed in the Thomnomicon is because it will cause some flux while it's going and which is something else I forgot to do grab some actual skulls and stuff because if you put some skull creeper skulls and stuff like that around the altar around the uh, thing it will actually help reduce the flux and cause it to uh, work a little bit better. Keep it from generating as much flux and keeping it from uh, messing up quite as bad. So if I put some skulls around like that, hopefully it will uh, help keep it balanced a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a leather tunic, stick it right here. It also says it needs air shards, which I don't think I grabbed any air shards. No, I didn't. Let me grab some real quick. Uh, I want to go down. There. Air shards. Just grab the whole stack of air shards. And uh, let me make sure I have all the stuff I need on my hotbar. Because when this starts working, and uh, <laughs> when it does start working, it is going to cause a bit of flux to happen. It's going to potentially shoot out sparks and stuff like that. So that will be something to to uh, keep an eye on. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Yep, it needs all of them. So, I need the comparator. Uh... Gold, gold, iron, iron. Gold, gold, iron, iron. That, that. Wood, wood. Uh, I don't think that's... Oh, no, that's not right, is it? No, that's right. I, ju I just have it, don't have it balanced right. Ooh, this is going to be a problem. Because you need to have it balanced. So, bop, bop, bop. So, it's nine. So, two, four, six, eight. Uh, iron, iron. Wood, wood. Shard, shard. 
Okay, that's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all nine items. Two, four, six, eight, nine. With that in the center. So when this starts, uh, in fact, let me go ahead and start it. Do I have enough viz in my wand to actually start it? Yeah, I should be able to. Okay, here we go. So first off, it will start by drawing the uh, Essentia out of the jars. Ooh. Uh, what happened? Something screwed up. And as you can see here, it will occasionally shoot off sparks, which will knock items off of the pedestals. And when that happens, you have to quickly either pick them up and put them back on or replace them. And that can be a bit annoying, especially when you don't see which one is actually knocked off and actually, or has actually been completely used. Because once this gets all of the essentia it needs, it will start actually taking each of these items in turn. Oop, crap. Uh-oh. I was fluxed, I believe. Uh, anything falling off? But yeah, every time it explodes like that, it means it's going to shoot off, it shoots off a spark and knock something off a pedestal. So I have to be watch out for that. And uh, oop, looks like it took the uh, air shards already, as well as the two pieces of wood. Now all it needs to do is take the gold. Looks like it took the uh, comparator already. There goes the gold. There goes the iron. The last piece of iron. Did it work? Oh, it worked. It worked. Ha <laughs> ha, it worked. Look at this. That went a hell of a lot smoother than I thought it would. Especially considering this is supposed to be a high instability one. Only one thing fell off of there. I guess that's because of all the zombie heads and stuff I put around it. But yeah, I finally have my harness. A thaumostatic harness which will allow me to fly. So... All I have to do is right click when I'm holding it and put in, I think, Potentia. Uh, let me get my uh, Staff of Traveling so I can jump down there. Ooh. And I think it's Potentia. Grab this jar of Potentia. Right click the harness. And where's the Potentia? Ah, here we go. Is that it? It is Potentia, right? Uh, yep, Potentia. So, I should be able... Let's see. One jar of Potentia. So, let's put this on. And I believe... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow! Look at this! Look at this! Uh, you can't really see it because of my backpack. Let me... Uh, uh, there we go. There's my backpack off. But look at this, it's a massive backpack. It's a jetpack thing. So I think I just have to press F, G. Ooh, it's G. Oh wow. <laughs> look at this, I'm flying. Uh, pressing space lets me go up. Uh, shifting lets me go down. But look at this, I have a jetpack thing. And it actually has a bar on the side showing me how much potentia is left in it. But look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I mean, I can't really move all that fast. But it will come in very handy when it's time to finish building the outer walkways. As well as the uh, platforms for this. I really wish I would have made this earlier. I really do. It would have come in so handy while I was building. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I now have a way to fly. Actually, factually fly. Let me turn this off. There we go. So let me get my backpack back on. I do have my backpack on. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I can actually fly now. And look at it. When I press G, it shoots off sparks and everything. Ah. Oh. But yeah, look. I now actually have a way to fly. A way to fly that isn't complete crap. I mean, 
<laughs> this jetpack. This this friggin' jetpack. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong, it came in handy. It was fairly useful. But yeah, it was complete crap. I now have a way to fly. So, there we go. I now have the thaumostatic harness. And it can let me fly. Woohoo! Ha ha! So, once I figure out what else it is I want to do right now, I'll come back in the next episode. But until then, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. And until next time, I will see you later. Ha ha!